You all remember the Jerry entity, right? You know, the one that has like mind control powers and can mess with your head and make you worship it? Yeah, well, I found an entire level where there's birds, just like Jerry, everywhere. Sounds pretty fun, right? Hey everybody, I'm Brugley, and today I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 712, or the Weald of Parrots. Without any more talking, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms level 712 is classified as a class 2 difficulty and is unsafe and has the presence of Jerry-like entities, which pretty much means that there are powerful birds that live here. The level itself is a wooded field area that's covered in a thin mist at all times. The level is not actually infinite or even that big compared to most Backrooms levels, but it's pretty hard to tell the exact size of it because there's some weird non-Euclidean spatial stuff that makes it hard to travel around and find where the real borders are, which is actually something that lots of backroom levels have, so it's not too out of the ordinary. The main type of vegetation that grows here is grass, and there's also some old-looking trees with very few to no leaves on them. And the entirety of the level takes place on a large slope with a small area of grass surrounding it. An example of weird spatial properties on this level is when a wanderer gets sent here, they'll actually start on the side of the hill, but if you try to walk down the hill to the bottom and out away from it, you'll get teleported to the other side of that hill and you have to start all over again. It's almost like the level doesn't want you exploring it, which is pretty strange. If you walk up the hill instead of down the hill, you actually might find an exit door on top of it. The top of the hill just seems to be a sea of sunflowers. It's literally just a massive expanse of a massive sunflower field up there. And it's in this sunflower field where you might encounter your first bird, but it also depends because it's different for each person who gets sent here. Some people can't even see the flowers at all. Some people just see a field of grass. Some people see just a door. Some people see a door inside of the sunflower field. It just depends on who you are, I guess. What is known for sure is that if you walk into the sunflowers and then back out, then they'll disappear and you'll never be able to see them again. So don't forget that, I guess. There are a ton of bird type entities that have been seen on this level, but of course the main type is parrot like entities that are usually seen alone in the trees or alone on the ground. And there has been many specific parrots that have been encountered, which I will get into and describe thoroughly here in a second. But before I do, it's very important to note that you should never, ever make physical contact with any of the birds here. Like, don't touch them, don't get close to them, actually don't even look at them, just avoid them at all costs. The reason is that some of them have the same powers as Jerry, and if you get close to them, they can kind of bend you to their will, and they can indoctrinate you and make you follow their own commands. If you don't know who Jerry is or what Jerry is, Jerry is actually a blue parrot that pretty much is a god and makes people worship it. <laughs> pretty normal backrooms entity, right? Anyways, some of the birds here on level 712 seem to have powers that are very similar to Jerry. They're almost the same. And if you touch them, you'll be fully indoctrinated into worshiping that bird, spreading its beliefs, and doing its bidding for it. These specific birds that have been logged are William, Beth, Green, Tom, and Richard. And now, I'm going to get into the explanation of all those birds. William is one of the more common birds that you might find here. And he looks like a typical yellow and blue macaw from real life. But looks can be deceiving, trust me. Because when a wanderer gets too close to William, he'll start staring at them sideways with this weird looking bird stare. It looks like he's looking into your soul. And when you get too close, he'll open up his wings to lure you into touching him. And if you touch him, you'll become a follower of his. Now, unlike the other birds that are here, and unlike Jerry, William will actually sit on the shoulder of whoever he just indoctrinated, and he'll be with them forever. Once a person is fully indoctrinated to William, they seem to be aggressive, and they will protect William at all costs, kind of like a bodyguard. On the flip side of this, you can actually tame William as well by using almond water, which is definitely a better alternative than becoming his slave forever. And to do that, you just have to reach out the almond water and, and hope he eats it. But you still have to avoid touching him because you still get indoctrinated. 
indoctrinated if you do. The next bird is Beth, who looks like a crested cockatoo, and Beths are the most dangerous birds here by far, and the reason is because they follow wanderers around constantly, and they continuously try to lure them closer and closer to themselves. Once Beth has indoctrinated someone, they actually become a food bank for that Beth. Like, she'll literally eat pieces off of you slowly over time anytime she's hungry. Uh, yeah, I hope YouTube doesn't get mad about that, but anyways, that's disgusting. I don't want to be parrot food, so moving on. Next is green. Now, greens are just green parrot-like birds with red beaks, and these are actually the rarest bird type to be seen here, and they actually don't show any danger at all. So these are the only nice birds that won't try to indoctrinate you or eat you which is cool, I guess. Some people say that you actually can be indoctrinated by a green, and if you do, you'll actually get the ability to noclip between any level that you want to without any difficulty. You can just noclip anywhere, which would be insane if that's true, but if I'm being honest, I don't trust it. I feel like green is lying or something, but I don't know. It might be worth it to be able to noclip between levels. Tom is the second to last bird here, and he's a young orange parrot that seemingly has an ability to make anyone love him the second they see him. So literally, if you see him, look at him, or whatever, you get this love for him, like he's your pet or something, or that you've known him for a long time. Now, Tom is terrifying because you kind of have no choice. You know, if you even just barely get a glimpse of it, you'll be loving him and you'll want to be indoctrinated by him. And people who are indoctrinated by Tom typically will succumb to the wretched cycle eventually because they forget to eat and drink and they kind of just become zombies. So... <laughs> Good luck with that. The last bird that's documented here is a Richard. Now, Richard is actually an owl entity with a white face and brown wings. And he's only found in that sunflower field from earlier that's located on top of the hill. Now, Richard doesn't indoctrinate wanderers at all. Instead, he does the opposite by getting rid of the previous indoctrinations from other birds, even from Jerry's indoctrination. So pretty much Richard can save you from being a slave to a bird, but the only problem is he doesn't appear to everyone, so you have to get lucky, I guess. Anyways, those are the birds that have been documented so far. There's definitely more here, but we haven't logged them yet. My advice is to just avoid this level unless you want to be a servant for a bird for the rest of your life. To enter the level, you can fall asleep on another foggy level, or you can find a hill on level 9 to be sent here. And to exit, you can either find that door on the hilltop, or you can noclip into the mist here to be sent to Jerry's room, which of course is where Jerry lives, so I wouldn't do that, but it is an exit, so use it at your own risk. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. This one was absolutely crazy and wacky, but I thought it was interesting and it kind of fleshes out more backrooms lore, which is always good. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. As you know, I'm on the road to 1 million subscribers. If you want to see me get to there and uh, fly to England to the level 180 hotel, then uh, sub, tell me your friends, family, and your dog, cat, parrot. Tell everybody about the channel. That way we can get there and we can fly to England to uh, the 188 hotel. That's going to be so fun. I'm excited to do that and hope you're excited to see it. Also, go check out my vlog channel and Spoogly, my third channel. Uh, if you want more videos from me, I upload on those other two channels a lot. And I really think you're going to find something that you enjoy. Thank you so much for your support. 2023 is going to be the craziest year on all my channels. And I cannot wait to expand myself and grow myself. And uh, I, I'm so thankful for you and everything you all do. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.